It's the summer of 2006. The skies are clear, but these fishermen are about to be battered by a hailstorm of fish. There you go. Asian carp are jumping on the Missouri River. There are so many, it actually looks like the river is in a boil. You've never seen anything like it. There's hundreds of them jumping everywhere. It's, it's scary. Fish biologist Dwayne Chapman says these bottom feeders start flying as soon as they hear the sound of an outboard motor. Anything that scares them will make them jump, but boats just tend to be one of those things that scares them the worst. They are causing concerns for commercial fishermen like Edwin Nichols. These fish jump over my boat, and my boat's eight foot wide. Marine biologists say the behavior is a defense mechanism. The fish jump to get away from a perceived threat, but they pose a danger to anyone who gets in their way. You can imagine getting hit by one of these things. This one here, like 18 or 20 pounds, they'll come out of the water at, you know, 20 miles an hour. And the head is blunt and hard, so they will really hurt you when they hit. The story of the Asian carp invasion starts at the bottom of the Mississippi near Vicksburg with Jerry Rasmussen. Beautiful day, that's for sure. Rasmussen is a U.S. fish and wildlife biologist, and he's devoted his career to fighting Asian carp. In the early 70s, catfish farmers here and in Arkansas imported the carp from Asia to help filter their ponds to keep them clean. Then along came the Mississippi floods of 1993, and the rest is history. The carp escaped from ponds into the rivers, and then the, from the rivers into the Mississippi. And then they were out there, along came the flood, a big spawn, and they moved upstream. From here, I joined Rasmussen to follow the fish up the river and its tributaries, documenting the destruction along the way. And what I would hope to do is to prevent these from spreading to other watersheds across the country, prevent them from getting into the Great Lakes, and hopefully, over the long haul, find ways to reduce their numbers and shut this invasion. But nowhere is the Asian carp invasion more critical than it is upstream on the Illinois. Okay, so Jerry, we've spent almost a week now going up the Mississippi and its tributaries. Why are we here? Well, this morning, Mark, we're on the Illinois River, about 40 miles downstream from Peoria. This is the location where the magnitude of the Asian carp problem is really going to hit home to you. They call this Asian carp ground zero. That's because the Illinois River is literally infested with them. Well, you want to just be aware that there's going to be fish flying around all around you. You're probably going to get hit. You know, they're coming in. Just be ready. At first, there were only a few. Then the number of Asian carp suddenly exploded. Now, nearly nine out of every ten fish on the river is a carp, and their numbers are growing. But the only way to see how bad things really are is to jolt the water with electricity. talking in the millions of Asian carp, you know, uh, spread throughout the river. You might see hundreds of them that day, you might see thousands, but to put an actual number on it, it's probably going to be impossible because they're, they're so widespread now, but I would say easily in the millions. It, it sort of is the world's funniest video, but it's a sad commentary on what we've done to these rivers. They've moved upstream hundreds of miles into the Missouri, into the Ohio, into the upper Mississippi River, and the smaller tributaries, and up the Tennessee River. They're all the way up into, into the state of Ohio. They're, they're way into Tennessee and, and Kentucky. They're, they're in Iowa. They're in Nebraska. They're in Kansas. They're in, in Minnesota. Well, not quite in, a few in Minnesota, 
uh, Illinois, all over the Indiana, all over the Midwest.